Hey guys, Ifto here, and today I'm back with an all new video. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at five of the most widespread myths about the 1.16 Minecraft Never Update. We'll be ranking these false facts on how interesting they are and how commonly they're wrongly believed to be true. The first myth to get this list started is the fact that respawn anchors can be used in the overworld. For those of us who know what happens when you use a respawn anchor in the overworld, it's obvious why this has become such a widespread myth. For those who don't know, it explodes. Big time. It's the equivalent of trying to sleep in the nether, and certainly has the firepower to absolutely destroy your home if you try using it there. Hence why people are keen to tell their friends this myth, in the hopes of trolling them into blowing up their newest build. In our number 4 spot, we've got the myth that Bastion Remnants contain Neverite tools and armour. In reality, while you will find Neverite ingots in the chests of Bastion Remnants, the best armour you will ever find is Diamond. The origin of this myth does actually have some truth to it, as in the pre-1.16 snapshots, Bastion Remnants really did contain Neverite tools and armour. Notably, however, this was changed before 1.16's full release as Mojang felt it made Neverite tools and armour too easy to get, and made searching for ancient debris a redundant task. The third myth to make our list today is the idea that chain armour can be crafted using chains. In fairness, there is a clear logic to this myth, and it would absolutely make sense if we could craft chain armour using chains. But unfortunately, we can't. For now at least then, chain armour remains uncraftable, only being obtained from trading or from mob drops. Another uncraftable item that needs mentioning here is Crying Obsidian, which cannot be crafted using Obsidian and Gas Tears despite what some people might think. Crying Obsidian can only be obtained either through trading with piglins, looting chests or mining ruined portals. Narrowly falling short of our number one spot, we have the myth that piglins will barter gold for diamonds, or even neverite tools and armour. This myth has largely been spread by clickbait YouTube videos and thumbnails, making false claims about what you can get from trading with piglins. While you can get some really useful items from piglins, such as ender pearls, crying obsidian and fire resistance potions, you cannot get diamonds. And while there was a brief time during the Bedrock Edition beta when you could barter for a Neverite home, this was changed before the update's full release, so it is now no longer possible to trade for any Neverite tools or armour on any version of Minecraft. Taking top spot as the most commonly believed myth of the 1.16 update, we have the belief that Ancient Debris is the new rarest ore in Minecraft. This may actually come as a surprise to a lot of players, but statistically, Emerald Ore remains the rarest ore per chunk in Minecraft. While it is of course much easier to gather emeralds than Neverite, the stats don't lie, with as little as 1.2 Emerald Ores appearing per chunk on average, versus 1.56 Ancient Debris per chunk. The rarity of Emerald Ore is of course heavily skewed by the fact that it only appears in Extreme Hills biomes. Not to mention, given how quickly you can collect a large number of emeralds from villager trading, it's easy to forget the rarity of the ore itself. This myth is an interesting case, wherein the theoretical probabilities don't match up at all with players' actual in-game experience, hence why it is so commonly believed. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know which of these myths you believed in the comment section below, and if you'd like to see more Minecraft videos like this one every Saturday, then do consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.